I'm here to talk about some of the new stuff in Lightroom and see how you can integrate some of these changes into your work. So that's me in my little cowboy outfit yesterday. There's the original image. I like to immediately make it black and white. That way I'm starting with a neutral palette. Okay. And then I go to color grading and I just add a little bit of a yellow magenta. Yeah, so I just added a slight patina of color. Now, are you guys ready to be blown away? On your phone and on the desktop, you have something here called Lens Blur. So if I open that module up and I say, hey, apply it, it's gonna apply a blur based on select subject, which you'll see right here. There's this handy dandy button called Visualize Depth. If I click on that, it will automatically let me see where it's blurring. I have this refine window open and I can say, hey, I want to add a little more focus. Can you believe this? I gotta take a paint and add focus back in. And I want to show you here, there's a brush size. So you can change the brush size to be super big. And we have a selection of bokeh's options here that you can select and include in your blur. So it looks even more natural, all non-destruct and pretty amazing. What is point color? Point color allows me to select a color. Let's say I selected these trees in the back and you can see what color they are. I can do a hue shift and make them warmer. But what I really probably want to do is select skin tone. So you can select skin tone. Look what it just did on that screen. It added another box and I can do a hue shift, make it warmer. I can make it more saturated. I can make it brighter. You can visualize rage. And what Lightroom is telling you, it makes everything black and white that it is not touching. So I can make it a tighter selection or a broader selection. Lightroom has little triangles and little dots. They always mean there's something extra under there. So where the point color sample was, if you don't wanna use a slider, you can actually tap on the, the little go-to and I can change the color here. Lightroom is a modular non-destruct. You can always go backwards. You can always change. change. Always Nothing is permanent. permanant. I can go back so the cows can run. Wow, well, thank you so much, Lisa. This has been so wonderful. You're always full of a lot of insider tips. Bye, y'all. Ciao.